Good, Good morning. morning from the high seas. Happy sea day one on the way back to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> That's true. So we are up and ready for some excitement. We're starting off, guess what? Breakfast. Breakfast. And then not no. going right to the gym right away. We're going to go. There is Ask the Captain event. And I don't think we've ever done that on Holland before. But hmm. you meet the captain and probably some of the upper um, staff. I don't remember what you call staff okay. captain, things like that. And get to ask questions. So that'll be really fun. Nice. But then we're going to the gym. Oh, gosh. It was in there somewhere because you know we're dressed for it. But all right. yeah. Well, let's get our day started. Come on. Let's do it. New York, New York. There we go, very similar looking breakfast, but hey, when we find something we like, we sticks with it. <laughs> Next up, we have come down to deck three for Ask the Captain. I don't know what I want to ask the captain, but let's, <laughs> let's go learn some stuff. The master of the vessel, our captain, Captain Bas van Dreumel. <laughs> so any question you have, uh, for our captain here about the ship, about life at sea. Please feel free. Questions such as, my toilet is not flushing, you will probably get a standard answer. Please contact guest services by dialing 90. But any other question, captain? I can always have a look. Here we go, okay. <laughs> South America near Cape Horn at uh, 33 uh, foot high waves, 10 meters. Uh, we defeated them and we had actually the bridge is at the level of 30 meters so that's around 90 feet high and the water splashed against uh, the bridge window so that was cool <laughs> we uh, were letting go our lines and we will not be able to go back to the dock uh, we have procedures in place uh, these persons uh, were two service engineers they were not our regular guest uh, but they made it back on time yesterday in the port of Aruba, so they are back on board. But I think they will never be late again in the future. <laughs> Lincoln Center it, it, it was a very popular venue. Uh, the contract ended with the uh, Holland America line. But with uh, Music Walk, we have beautiful different uh, options. And uh, these uh, music venues may be reviewed in the very near future. But with that, I would like to give the word to, uh, to you, please. So there will be definitely classical music again on our ships. Um, we have already on the Zaandam and Volendam, the two smaller ships in the fleet, a classical uh, duo again. We will start installing, and 7th of April we will, stall, we will start installing three new world stage shows with singers and dancers again. So that's something they're spent money on now. The original name of this ship was Rijndam. This caused such a um, stir up for the people in Holland because my previous ship Rotterdam 6 was sold and is now sailing as Bordialis for Fred Olsen Cruise Lines. It so looks beautiful, has a new second life, does very well for the company. But the commotion had stirred up, letters were being written to our CEO and guess what? The name was changed to Rotterdam. I just heard this morning in a meeting that on the 4th of May, we will be in port with the old 6th Rotterdam. Rotterdam 5, what is now a floating hotel in the harbor. So there will be three Rotterdams in port together on the 4th of May. I think the, uh, the strangest encounter was when I was in the Mediterranean, captain of the uh, Noordam sailing towards Dubrovnik. We get a call that is spotted a yacht. Coming closer, they were indeed 43 refugees. Guess what the first question was when I pulled alongside? Captain, what is your Wi Fi code? <laughs> I think that was funny. <laughs> we helped them though. I gave them the Wi Fi code <laughs> and we waited for the Coast Guard to, uh, to come and they rescued them and they all made it same and sound. So. I was just talking uh, in the meeting with the uh, yeah, superintendent and that is going to happen in 2026. That's correct. To finish our uh, Q&A session this morning, I have a question for you, Captain. If you could swap function or job for one day here on the Rotterdam, what would you like to be? Well, I definitely would come back as a captain, without a doubt. Um, <laughs> I've been a sailor myself, so I wouldn't swap. I know what it is uh, to do the dirty work. 
But I think if I would come back in the next life, uh, I definitely would come back uh, as a uh, aviator, fighter pilot, or a commander aircraft carrier. Mm, yeah, good. Thank you very much for uh, making time this morning. Thank you, Captain. Thank you very much for, uh, for joining this morning. Well, wardrobe change later. We've jumped back out of the cabin. Now, granted, about four hours have passed since we've seen you last. We've been just chilling, working, all that good stuff. And now it's time for a late lunch. It's like almost four o'clock. It's 3.13. 3.13, which is almost four o'clock in boy math. <laughs> Grand Dutch Cafe time. Oh, let's take a look at all this goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh, Dee has started off with a brand muffin and now we will wait for the hot food to be prepared. Well, we have both decided to go with the pea soup. How could we not? There is my main bready snack, the apple and bacon pancake. Now it is time for afternoon trivia and happy hour. Okay, if you don't have a paper and a pencil yet, please grab one both ends of this piano bar. Do you have a paper and a pencil? 15 questions and a bonus general knowledge. 15. Someone else can have it. Okay. Somebody else can have it. Give that team at the back a big round of applause. And now, welcome to the buffet. Oh, I think this is the closed side. Let's go to the other side. There we go, a giant rhubarb crisp, all kinds of like shrimp and rice. Ooh la la. D has gone shrimp, rice, and corn. I went shrimp, rice, and bok choy. We have also located rotisserie chicken with Yorkshire pudding, little broccoli, and of course a little trip to India with some fish, tikka, I don't even know. There was some beef kebab, tandoori chicken, yeah. For dessert I did a little wander up there. I'm not sure what this is, but it looked good. They also had a lemon, sort of a meringless lemon pie, and the rhubarb crisp with vanilla sauce on top. Wow. We've come back to the cabin to find some chocolates and some papers and a... Good morning and welcome back to New York. We've started with our customary yogurt and berry bowl. And I have decided to join Dee today. We are twinning for breakfast with the fried eggs made to order. <laughs> ah, time to motivate inward and downward. Oh, it is win a cruise bingo time. So what are our prices? 25, 35, 45. 250 for a dauber. Now last time we played the coverall bingo, we tried to get this fancy tablet and they had just sold out. So y'all, we went for the fancy tablet model this time. We have 18 cards, which we can, gosh, I guess can we get them, yeah, all on screen at the same time. It keeps track of all the calls. It lets you know how many away you are if you're about to win a free cruise, but this is a coverall bingo for a free cruise. Well, apparently you can't get all your cards on the screen at the same time. Dee's like, that's only 15 cards, isn't I mean, it? I'm like, I'm yeah. Not a mathematician. My brain like, could not mm, count. Uh, yeah, five times three. So I guess. It does say. Oh, yeah. How do I? Oh, uh, there they are. There's the three lonely cards. And I guess if I wanted to look at one particular card. Maybe. When I was doing starts. something. Oh, I see it. No, it was page one that flashed up and page two that flashed up. Okay. Oh. Or you can just be like, I only want to look at one card. <laughs> Wee. You don't even have to be good at bingo. No, you don't. You just sit here and this is going to do everything. Wow. So this is the $45 package. I think it was $25 for three cards, $35 for six cards, and then $45 for 18 cards. Yes. One game though. Only one game. This thing even has like an adjustable leg on the back. You can stand it up, change the angle, have it almost lay all the way down again for some reason if you want to. I'm playing around in the little menu. I guess there's games you can play while you wait for bingo. Oh, I thought it meant there were 266 players. I think I am player 266. There are not that many people in here. Uh, no. <laughs> choose a language. Choose a theme. But looks like there might only be one theme. Oh, I can play tic-tac-toe. Scratch and guess landmarks. Word search while waiting for bingo. That's exciting. Technology. The robots are taking over. All right, Dee wants to play scratch and guess landmarks. Let's see, we'll watch her upside down uh, play. Let's we'll see if it- and choose game. Yeah, so scratch and guess. Apparently oh. not. 
Maybe the landmarks are the bingo cards. Maybe the games don't work. Let's try a different game. I'm just curious to see if they work. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna play bingo while That's we wait for bingo. There's no ball limit, but we only need one winner for this game. In any case, there will be multiple winners who will play another game until there's only one winner. First ball out. 070. Look at it go. 070. This is the laziest bingo I ever played. <laughs> So it looks like it puts the cards that you have the most punches on toward the beginning of your screen, so you can always see. We have three cards that are 22 away. Woo! G60. Oh, we're two away. We're concentrating on these B8. numbers now. Oop, that didn't help us. So close. Think B7, B7. You can do it. Send it into the atmosphere. See if it works. G46. Uh -oh. Someone is one number away. G46. Uh -oh. Not us. Oh, away. we are one away. Bingo at M32. Oh, close. We were that one away. <laughs> That's cute. We needed lucky number seven. Wow. We've jumped up to deck 12 forward. Ah, oh, yes, a zone we have not touched yet on this cruise, which is the Crow's Nest and the Exploration Central uh, Cafe area. Some ships we've seen do arts and crafts up here. This one, I think they're using this area just more as a game room library. Let's learn. Yes, there is your gaming area. Oh, I hear the coffee shop espresso machine clucking away up here. Yeah, but this is kind of your front observation uh, lounge area. Oh, we've got a big old Rotterdam bell up here. Kind of a model of one of the Rotterdams. Got a couple of cool telescope rigs up here looking off the front of the ship. Just looking back at the coffee shop over there shore excursion area up here. Oh, digital tables, what can we learn? We can learn about Aruba. We can learn about Fort Lauderdale, apparently. Yeah, it shows you where things are, points of interest. Oh, what can we learn about Half Moon? Does it show you where the turtles are? No. <laughs> we already know that. Right, and that is the full loop. I guess we will continue the wanders. Oh, that's the retreat. Oh, no, it's being closed off from us. Goodbye, retreat. <laughs> We're not allowed to go look at you. What is that, a suite area? Um, you can rent the cabana. Oh, la la. All right, let's go down to nine. Let's get ready to treadmill. <laughs> Now it is time for Dutch high tea here in the dining room. Washy washy. Welcome back to deck three. We have got a table by the window with a view. Very nice. There is our tea. Let's have an investigation of what might be different here. So bottom tray. All right, similar looking sandwiches. I think we got the egg, the salmon, and the curry chicken. Center tray, scones and cake, looks like before. The top tray, I think, is a little different, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'd have to rack my brain and look back, but that one appears to be the Dutch plate, as it were. Let's see if we can have a proper tea, a tea swirl today. Oh, yes. It's a tea nado. Ooh, walking by the shops now, they've got all the orange stuff out because tonight is orange night. I need all of this, especially, you know. <laughs> now it is time for trivia and happy hour. All right, this is 15 questions and a bonus for those who are new here. General knowledge. And now it is the time for the dinner. So welcome back to dining room. Hey, not much of a line.
orange photo backdrops, or more orange shopping. What is this? That's, a That's gorgeous. Pretty, but it's extremely perfect. Uh, but it's cool. Uh, sounds like ballroom dance hour is happening here in the BB King at the moment. Yes, they've removed a lot of the chairs just to make standing table space, but we found a nice little diagonal spot here for when the excitement starts. A little trivia, a little orange night. Later on at 8.15, we will have our offices versus guest trivia, music trivia, to make sure you join in for that. And of course, it's our orange party tonight. Looks like they're getting everything set up for officers versus guests music trivia. Well, they've got the little thing out here on the tables that show the drinks for the evening. You've got the orange Vesper and you've got the orange gin tonic. So please put your hands together and please welcome the officers on board the water. <laughs> Fifteen questions again and a bonus. Write the title of the song and the artist of the song. Why is this the bonus song? Hell. This is not even fair, okay? I got the answer right. Well, I thought we were gonna get the past <laughs> truth, so I'm hearing. All right. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, let's check your answers. At this point in time, you can go crazy. Sing it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no good, no good, no good. At this point in time, we are now moving on to the main event, the orange party. All right, here we go. If you're wearing Holy dance floor. <laughs> Are you all ready? You will all receive a free dance lesson. Let's do the Cupid Shuffle. Hit it. Let's oh, see. man. This is going to be easy. There is not enough room out there. We're going to hold these little seats down and try not to get stepped on. <laughs> oh, don't trip anybody. <laughs> One more. Let's do the YMCA. Hit it. Let's see. What is a Dutch party without Dutch pastries, right? But of course, if you are ready to party, this is not enough. Welcome to the orange party, y'all. Board and we've met up with the bar hop crew. <laughs> oh, they're bringing the snacks around in Billboard too. We came over here for a piano set in a little while and they've got those little raisin donuts. So I hear tunes over at the rock room, but we are here to finally catch a piano set proper. We have come back to the cabin to find our papers for tomorrow, which is Half Moon Key. Good, Good night. night. We're back in the cabin. It what, is. What's our evening wrap up? About 11 p.m. So, Ooh. had a good evening overall. We did lots of orange party events, Ooh. including officers versus guests, music trivia. We tied. I think we won. <laughs> I think we really did. We did pretty well. There were a few stumper ones in there because, like, some things I knew the artist and he did too, but mm -hmm. not the song. It was fun. And then. We, you know, did the orange party. They True. had like I think it was five different snacks. Yeah, we missed a couple. We yeah, didn't but it's get... okay. We've had them before. I, I was watching them go around, and they were all good though. Lots of line dances, things like that. And then we went and listened to I believe his name is James mm -hmm. in the piano area. It's usually dueling pianos, but on here it's just a single piano. 
in him. Yeah, true. I don't know fleet-wide they're turning it into a single module instead of a dueling, but... Yeah, he's really good, though. And he was taking requests, and everybody seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, and dinner was well before that, so <laughs> we'll talk and about that. James did not play Sweet Caroline. He did not, so we really like ah, James. We Thanks, like James. James a lot now. <laughs> That's not to say he's never played it. But oh, no, I'm sure he has, yes. Let's dig into dinner. So you started off with tuna. Uh, tuna triado, something like that. I've never seen it on the menu before. Basically, I don't know if it was raw tuna. It was not seared. So I it think it's like it. raw tuna oh. with like a coleslaw and cucumbers. It said there was chilies on it, nothing spicy, but it was very fresh and amazing. Mm. Nice. I had the meatballs. They were coconut crusted meatballs, and that sounded interesting to me. They had a really, really good pork flavor, like very savory, very well seasoned. A little bit of spice on these bad boys, even though that was not advertised that I could see, but it was a delightful spice level. I easily could have eaten 12 and a half meatballs. <laughs> wow. They were that good. Very would, specific. I'd get those every time. You went with, is that a chicken? It was billed as orange chicken. Oh. So in the sense that you would think of it as like a fried thing that you dip like sauce in. It's not. It's just a chicken that's grilled with orange sauce with, they called it salsa verde. I would have said that was more like a green goddess dressing <laughs> with grits with cinnamon. Sounds extremely strange altogether. It is amazing. All those flavors blend so well. The chefs know what they're doing. One of the better meals I've had anywhere. Yeah, so good. There were a lot of weird sounding flavors tonight, but they were. They were so good. I had blackened queen fish. Now, I don't know that I knew what a queen fish was. It was a very, very firm white fish. Nice and flaky, though. And, I mean, the texture on that was amazing. Like, if you like a nice firm fish, a yum. Was um, it fishy? It was not overly fishy yeah. either. So, very pleasant. I think it was like a little potato cake underneath. All the sides were good. Well seasoned. Blackened, in my brain, usually means a little spicy. It was not. Mm. But it just tasted delicious. So, dessert is where, <laughs> anyway, you had. So it was the no sugar added passion fruit tort. Very much like the raspberry tort I had the other day. This was lacking in that passion fruit flavor. So it's good, the presentation is beautiful. Really didn't taste like passion fruit though. I'm waiting for that. I love passion fruit, you guys. It's like my favorite. So did not have that. It was a lovely dessert, but not passion fruit. <laughs> I tasted it. It was creamy. Yeah. I caught like 1% passion fruit. The raspberry one's delicious. Get yeah, that. Actually, yeah. that's true. Skip the passion fruit. <laughs> uh, and I tried another entry in the bread pudding territory, which was the coconut bread pudding. This also was lacking in flavor. It was a nice, um, I mean, the texture was good. The moisture was good. The rum sauce is always delicious. There was coconut on top. Bread pudding itself didn't really have much flavor of its own. So it was just Moist bread. That's what I said. It tastes like wet bread. <laughs> With coconut flakes. <laughs> like in a buttery good bread. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. I think that's the fourth bread pudding over the last two Holland ships I've tried. Good so if great. you're keeping track, it's Nutella. Jamaican or Car oh, sorry, cinnamon. You're right, cinnamon roll. Jamaican or Caribbean, whatever they called it, and then coconut is at the bottom of the pack. I don't so. remember them having that many bread puddings, but um, I think they do that's one a new every thing, day. Apparently. <laughs> and they're good usually. Yeah. Y'all, that's it. So we are going to say goodnight. We have got Half Moon Key in the morning. Oh, yeah. With two ships. Oh, we're in with New Staten Dam. That's right. Never been there with two ships. I'm curious to see space and how it works. Well, let's see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.